That moment when you're waiting to do something that you don't want to do. And the first motion. So that's when you actually start doing that thing that you don't want to do. All the interim. Now this is all that time. All that time in that moment. While you are waiting to take action. Is like a phantasma or a hideous dream. Life is suffering. Right. Indisputable. What do you do about that? You, you voluntarily accept it and then strive to overcome the suffering that's a consequence of that. And you do that for you and you do that in a way that makes it better for other people. And then that works. And one question might be, well, how well does it work? And the answer is, you'll, the only way that you can find out is by trying it. That's it. That's the existential element of it. The proof is to be derived by the incarnation of the attitude in your own life. No one can tell you how it will work for you. It's the thing that your destiny is to discover that. And you have to make, you have to make the decisions to begin with. It's like, because you can't do this without commitment. You have to commit to it first. That's the act of faith that, that Kierkegaard was so insistent upon. You have to say, I'm going to act as if being is good. I'm going to act as if truth is the pathway to enlightenment. I'm going to act as if I should pursue the deepest meaning possible in my life. And there's, there's reasons to do none of those. They're real reasons. So it's really a decision. But you, you can't find out what the consequence of the decision is unless you make the decision. So that moment, that moment when you're waiting to do something, it's like an apparition, a hideous dream, a nightmare. And so the battle, the struggle, it takes place in that moment. It's not knowing what to do. That's not the battle. It's not actually doing it. That's not the battle. It's the moment in between. It's the hesitation. Because you're more powerful than you think. Way more powerful than you think. I mean, God only knows what you are in the final analysis. You're blind to your own weaknesses, but you're also blind to your own strengths. And so then I think, well, if you got your act together, it'd be better for you, and instantly it would be better for your family, assuming they wanted you to get your act together, and not everyone does, but... And then it would be better for the community. It's like, how far could you take that? If you stopped wasting time, and if you stopped lying, and if you oriented yourself to, to the highest possible good that you could conceive of, and you committed to that, how much good could you do? Well, I would say, why don't you find out? So that's what I think you should do. You should find out. You don't have anything better to do. And there's nothing in it, as far as I've been able to tell, there's nothing in it but good. So maybe you could sort yourself out so that you wanted nothing but the good. We have a factory, a nice governor in our brain, and it's the survival mechanism. It protects us from pain and suffering. The second we feel that shit, our mind says, oh no, this isn't fun. We should back off. We should sit down, find something more comfortable. And there's something about the mind. The mind has the tactical advantage over you at all times. At all times of your life, the mind has a tactical advantage over you. Why is that? It knows what you're afraid of. It knows your insecurities. It knows your deep, dark lies. And it starts to push you away from that shit. It pushes you in a direction that is comfortable. The mind controls everything. So what I realized was that when I was growing up and I was 300 pounds and I got all fat and I got all insecure, I realized that my mind kept taking me in this direction. When things got uncomfortable for me, when I was facing my insecurities, I was facing my fears, my mind said, oh no, we have a tactical advantage. We need to get you, separate you from this feeling. This feeling over here, life's all about feelings. We want the happy feeling. We don't want that feeling of this sucks. Why am I here? And you don't have any, you know, so, so you can't answer those questions, so you leave. Hesitation is the end. And in war, 
understanding where the enemy is allows you to defeat him. And this is where the enemy of action, the enemy of commitment, the enemy of change, that's where the enemy lies. It lies in the waiting. And all you have to do to win is overcome that moment, the waiting, the hesitation. All you have to do is go, move, take action, get out of bed, get your feet on the ground, step into the gym, put down the donut, and pick up the kettlebell. Do not hesitate. Do not wait. Go forward. Go to war. And win. <laughs>